everyone, it's Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy. I'm back again with part two of my video series, Designing Your Own Cup Files. Today we're going to be back in Adobe Illustrator and also going to be lightly touching on some things in Cricut Design Space. So let's get started. So one of the tools that I find most important when creating designs is the pen tool. It's a really simple tool, but it allows you to be creative and to be able to create pretty much whatever you want. So today we're going to be making a heart simple enough. So I'm going to use my pen tool to make an anchor point and start drawing my heart shape. I'm going to change the color here. Okay, so with hearts, at least most hearts, the one I'm going to make is going to be symmetrical. So now that I have half my heart, I'm going to copy it and you can do that by going to edit and then copy or just command C, which is going to be a really useful shortcut. And then I'm going to paste in front and you can do that by going to edit and paste in front or command F. After I have, and you can see over here that it copied and pasted in front over in my layers panel. After you have your second uh, heart shape copied, you're going to right click and then go to transform and click reflect. And um, you can click the preview button here so you can see what it's going to do. Right now I have it set to vertical, which is what I want. It's going to flip it vertically like a mirror and mirror my shape on the other side. Click OK. I'm just going to drag my heart shape over here and the heart's complete. Almost, except for the shapes are still technically separated. So to remedy that, I'm going to use my white uh, arrow tool and highlight these two anchor points that are touching and we're going to join them by pressing Command J and then do the same thing with the bottom ones. Command J again. Okay, now that you have your heart shape, you can check over here in your layers panel and see that it's been completed. And if that's all you wanted to do, then you're done. But there's a couple other things I wanted to show you that you can do. I'm going to create another heart. And this one, so I'm going to copy and then paste in front again by ca pressing Command C and then Command F. And this one I'm going to change to white so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to scale it down. And now you can see Let's move it over here a little bit. We'll make it just a little bit offset. I have my shape within another shape. And so since this is going to be turned into a cut file, we have to make sure that this is turned into a single compound path. You're going to hear me repeat that a lot. You want to make things into a single compound path. There's a few exceptions to that rule, but for the most part, uh, you want everything to be in a single compound path. So to do that, I'm going to select both of my heart shapes and you can do that by either dragging and selecting both of them or by clicking and then holding shift to select both of them or by in your layers panel, clicking next to it here, um, clicking on and holding shift to select both of them. So there's a few ways you can select multiple objects. Easiest being dragging and selecting. Okay, now that I have both of those selected, I am going to go to my Pathfinder menu and to get to that, um, I keep it in my toolbar over here, but if you don't have it, it'll be under Window and then you click Pathfinder. And with both those selected, all I need to do is click uh, minus front or subtract. And it doesn't look like it did anything, but if you check over here in my layers panel, you can see that this is one single compound path now. This is no longer a white heart on top of a green heart. It is simply a green heart with a, another heart cut out inside of it, which is what we want uh, since we're making it into a cut file. All right, so now that I have both my hearts completed, I'm going to save this as an SVG. So the first thing I need to do is I do have this extra layer right here um, saying what my video is, and I'm just going to get rid of that for now. So since these are both two separate objects on one artboard, they're going to show up separately uh, when I upload them into Design Space. And you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So I'm going to go to File 
and then save as and I'm just gonna put this into my practice files folder and save it as hearts and then in the format section you're just gonna scroll down to SVG and hit save alright now let's open up Cricut Design Space and click New Project. So once you have your project opened, you can go to Upload and click Upload an Image. Then you can locate it on your um, computer. So here's my Hearts SVG file and then click Open. You can add tags to it uh, if you want to. Okay, so now we have our hearts in here and you can go to insert images. And there you have it. So now we have our two heart images, one that's just a solid shape and one that is the heart with the cutout heart inside of it. So right now, both of these shapes are set to cut, which is what we want right now. And you can change the colors if you want. It uh, doesn't really matter if you're just cutting what color you set it to because whatever color your material is is going to determine what it is in the end. But if you want to change the color in here, you can do that. Okay, and if everything's set the way you'd like it to be, then you can go ahead and press make it. And then follow the same steps you would normally take to create a cut file. Uh, as you can see, it put our two hearts on two different artboards right now because they're t still technically separated. If you didn't want that, we can go back and select both of our hearts and click Attach down here. And what that will do is it will make sure that they are going to stay on the same um, artboard and when you click Make It, they're going to be next to each other and be on the same piece of paper, whatever material you're using. Uh, from there you can click your uh, material size and whatever other selections you need to make and then continue on until you make your cuts. So there you have it. I hope you're able to follow along. Um, be sure to stay tuned for some more videos and more in-depth tips on creating your own cut files. Happy designing!